here his first of the night. And the gamble will work out. He's in at second base with a two-out double. When you're a hitter, there's only two times where you know Having for game. sure you've got a but hit. One is when you hit one in the... Into the box, Cookie Cowboy. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. And remember, he jumped all over that first pitch. So don't be surprised if he does it here again. Oh, and I think that got him in the foot. No chance to make the play. Let's just hope he's okay on the mound. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Stepping in, Cookie Cowboy, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. And now you can't help but think back to that tag out from just a minute ago. If he just stays where he is, he very likely scores on this one. Cookie Cowboy rides to the plate with two gone and the possible go-ahead run over at first base. Yeah, and the key here is don't try to do too much. At least move the line and get it to the next guy. It's not really easy to score a guy from first all in one swing. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. His perfect night but continues. He's been on base all four times, and he's on again here with a solid single. Not a lot of offense to go around in this one, but what offense we did see came from this man's bat. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he only had one hit, but he definitely made it count. Big home run that turned out to be the decisive blow in the ball game. Two runs. Back live now on the MLB pregame show, just a few minutes away from game three of the series. And while the final preparations are being made, we give you the top player spotlight. Tuesday night baseball set to come your way from Fenway Park in Boston. Game number three of this new season between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. So now let's take a look at Joe Girardi's lineup for the visiting Yankees. EK, any thoughts? Well, I expect to see a good performance from Chase Headley. He proved that he's an elite run producer last season when he put up over 130 RBIs. That's a kind of run production that establishes a player among the best in the game. Luis Severino will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. What's your tank on him, E.K.? Well, Matty, he gets the start here in this one. If you look back at last season, he had 17 losses, so he should just be thankful he's still getting the ball. Cookie Cowboy will stand in now, coming off a perfect four for four a night ago. Cookie Cowboy. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This one's hit deep out to left center field, but that'll hit off the wall in left center. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Boy, just another great swing right there. And he's on a few of them in this series. He gets a good pitch to hit, and he's right on it. And he drives this one off the wall for an easy double. And it might be time for them to let somebody else beat you for a change. Cookie Cowboy will start things off here for the pinstripers. He'll be followed by Brian McCann waiting in the on-deck circle. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count. This is the first pitch of the inning and 
He's on base here to kick things off. Into the box now. Cookie Cowboy. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Cowboy. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoked. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Cookie Cowboy takes his turn now, looking to add some insurance to their lead in the form of that run standing out at second base. Now, a base hit right through the infield would probably do it, but you can bet those guys. And a costly mistake there as he gives it the old Ole, and it gets right by him. Boy, these fans will be happy to see this guy leave town. That's for sure. He has absolutely eaten him up here in this series. He delivers again. And the Yankees were given a big boost tonight by the performance of this man, Chase Headley. Don't put that card in your bicycle spokes. He's our top player our of the game. Yeah, you First see a couple of hits for him in the ballgame. Matt Vasker. Afternoon baseball for you now on the show. Coming your way from venerable Fenway Park here in Boston. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Frank Hilder, cooking Cowboy. Porcello sets. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and this fastball is belted to deep left center field. Does he have enough to get out of here? Yes, a home run. So a two-run shot to left center, and this is now a two-to-nothing lead for the Yankees. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Betts is in his tracks now, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Cookie Cowboy will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. And this could have really got this inning off to a great start. But it finds the outfielder's glove out there, and that runner's forced to retreat back to first. Cookie Cowboy steps in and perhaps looking to drive another one out of the park just like he did in the second. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard to short. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home tops player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, definitely no, no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a, a few times, and he winds up with a complete game shutout. So that just about Our does it for EK Psycho.